Hello and welcome to this latest e-learning how-to. This is a, um, a how-to on how to create a screencast at screener.com. So the screener.com website um, has a button on it that you click and once you've clicked it, it'll record whatever you're doing on the screen, whether it's in the internet, in a program, on the desktop, whatever. And when you click stop, it'll save it as a video and you can then give a link to anyone you like and they can click that link and watch that video. It's saved to the internet. You don't have to faff around with video files or anything like that. So, um, let's have a look. A sort of um, very, very common use for screencasts is to explain how software works. So I might say, click on design, do this, that and the other in PowerPoint and record that in a screencast. Um, and you can learn a little bit about PowerPoint through the screencast. But there are other uses for it as well. I mean, if you imagine if you're sitting down with a colleague or a student talking about stuff, um, you could just just grab it. So I happen to have, say, a PowerPoint here. And um, I could be recording this. Um, and as we're talking about, say, whereabouts of how massive Canada is and what was it exactly that happened in North Africa in 1910. We can be having that conversation and recording the whole thing. So you get, imagine if you shared this particular PowerPoint, which I found on the internet with a uh, group of students, then they'd get a static dry document that talk it through and it gives it the human element and you can actually contextualize the whole thing students can use them too. Anyway, I'm assuming you're already sold on the idea of a screencast. Um, but if not, please do watch on because Screener really is. It is fantastic. Um, go to the website then. Let's assume you want to make one, make a screencast. Go to the website, which is screener.com. Screen with an R on the end, dot com that is. And click on the record button. It does some tests to see that you've got everything on your computer that you need to be able to run it. Our standard college Pete laptops have. I'm on one at the moment. Oops, sorry, it's me clicking around. I'm getting confused because I'm doing a screencast of me doing a screencast. Doesn't take much to confuse me, but anyway. Right, so once you've clicked on the button, you'll get this big, this sort of marquee thing around the edge of the screen that you can drag to the size of the uh, size that you want to record at. I'm going to record the whole screen. And you'll also see down at the bottom, you have a record button, microphone level, and the capture size, you can change the size, but I quite often just do it full screen anyway. And if I want, um, once I'm recording, I can pause and that kind of thing. So I'm going to do a quick recording. Um, if I just go, I'd, I'll go to Google there and I'll do uh, an image search. So I'm going to start recording now gives me a nice countdown and then that I can start talking now and it's good it's recording everything I'm doing okay and it's me doing some stuff on the internet I'll jump out now into a PowerPoint the one we're in before. And I'll do my waffling about Brazil and how Australia is not that much bigger than Brazil. Actually, it's probably about the same size if you turn them around, I don't know. And so on. So I can pause at any point and then keep going and it's seamless you don't you don't really get it's not really that noticeable so i've recorded about a minute so far you can record up to five minutes and five minutes actually is 
generally plenty for screencast. These are short, sharp video instructional videos. Um, so, you know, five minutes is fine. If you want longer than five minutes, you have to start looking at other tools. Um, but Screener is brilliant for quick videos. So I've done it. So I'm just going to imagine I've done something brilliant. I'm going to click on done. Let's go and see what's happened then. So back to Screener. Ah, sorry, back to Screener. And it's just there on the site, and I can play it back. I can start talking now, and it's, it's recording everything I'm doing. Okay, so this is my video we're watching here. Yeah? And all I have to do now is describe it. Okay, so there's my description, and I click on publish. And now what that's doing is it's um, it's encoding the video. It's get, making the video um, nice and small and publishing it onto the internet. So I don't touch any files or anything. They're all just um, there's no video file to to handle. It's just all going up onto the internet now. Um, Okay, so that has now record, um, now encoded and uploaded. So now it's on the internet, and you can play it back. You can play it full screen. Like so. And. If I want to share that with anyone, I can just copy the address, paste it into an email, job done. They've got that video. Or I could also, if I wanted to, um, embed it into a Moodle page, for example. So I'd click on share, copy the embed code, go into Moodle. Pose a web page. And in the body of the web page, I paste my code in. So I need to click HTML, right click, paste my code in, update, and then save. I'll do save and display so I can look at the page immediately. And there's my video just sitting there in my middle course. I can play it from there as well. Start talking. Put back into the course. And we can see it just there. Now that's pretty seamless, isn't it? Um, but actually what, um, what I didn't tell you was that I'd already signed into Screener before I did this, because you have to have a Screener account to be able to um, save your videos. Now, in terms of your anyone in the world can create an account on Screener, um, so your students could do it, they could produce work. Obviously, um, the work is on the internet, so it's kind of a bit ephemeral. You know, in, in two years' time, you can't guarantee it's going to be there. So if you are using it for assessed work, then um, I recommend you down you get students to download the MP4 file of their work, um, which they could then either up upload to Moodle or share with you, um, share with you in, in in another way. But it just means that that work um, that work is is there for as long as you want it to be. That said, I've been using Screener for two years and I've never known it to be down and never known there to be any problems with the content on it. So I hope you found that useful. Um, have a go with Screener. Um, let us know how you get on at elearning at hrc.ac.uk. And by the way, if you're wondering what this thing is up here, um, I couldn't record a Screener 
of me doing a screener at the same time. So I had to use another tool to um, do a screencast of me doing a screencast. Um, and I used the recorder, uh, the, the um, recorder in the Smart Notebook software. There'll be more about that in a future screencast.